So, I'm going to do the Lime Sex Challenge the right way, um, but with a twist, like I did last year. So the rules, basically, for the Lime Sex Challenge is to soak it lime dry. Also, you have to nominate three people to do the challenge, and also donate $10 to a lime foundation, basically. But in this case, I am leaving it up to you if you want to donate. That's part of the twist. The other twist is I'm going to say a few facts about Lyme disease before I do the actual challenge itself. So I'm going to nominate Brenda Asher, Jim Picklesheimer, and I'm going to nominate Jason Fabress. Or And there's other people I will think about and on nominating. Um, but for now, those are my three. And some of the facts is that the only proper testing that is out there is the Igenix slash Western Blot testing. It is actually less than 30% accurate though, even though they say that it's 50%, less than 50% accurate, which kind of, you know, fits too. But um, it's actually less than 30% accurate. Um, which gives you a very big chance of having a false reading. And, um, which sucks because if you get a, a negative reading, you don't have, um, any support whatsoever with treatment or so on, basically. Um, the tall cell rash doesn't happen to everybody. It's actually less than 10% that actually are good, you know, who actually, who actually get the tall tail rash, which is like a bullseye um, around the bite, basically. Ticks are not the only thing that carries Lyme disease. How I said are not is because many doctors assume that ticks are the carriers of Lyme disease, but mosquitoes, flies, fleas, mites, spiders, ants, and basically a majority of insects actually carry Lyme disease. But those of you who don't pay attention or know that malaria has the co-affection of Lyme disease. So malaria, everybody knows about malaria and how you can get it transmitted by a mosquito bite. But, the co-infection for malaria is Lyme disease. So, not a lot of people know that. Not a lot of people know that the cousin of Lyme disease is syphilis. Syphilis and Lyme are similar. That's why they're cousins. Lyme disease is known as the great imitator for a reason. It can imitate anything. That's why some people who actually have Parkinson's disease Alzheimer's, dementia, Addison's disease, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, rheumatoid arthritis, and the list goes on, end up being falsely di diagnosed. Because Lyme disease can be so similar to everything that's out there. Lyme disease causes respiratory problems, heart failures, kidney failures, liver failure, and it can impact the brain. It can make you cripple, it can make you die, it can do anything to your body that doctors don't really tell you. I suffer from cardiac broliosis. Broliosis is the scientific name of Lyme. So the Lyme is in my heart and it's in my brain. It's infected all of my organs already. And so my goal though is to try to educate others about this awful disease. And I know a lot of people who actually battle this disease as well. Part of my group that I go to is called the Lyme Group. And we're there to support each other. And um, we all have our story and, um, is up, that needs to be heard. So I'm hoping that we can, you know, educate others about this awful disease. But anyways, 
without further ado, I got my lime. It's been sitting out in the juices and stuff, so it's going to be a lot more sour. But see, it doesn't have to be a huge lime. It could be any size. And um, any age can do it. You know, I wouldn't really recommend babies, but I've seen a few people try to do um, for a prank or a joke or whatever. I don't know. Kind of weird. But anyways, um, all you do is basically suck the lime dry. Um, for those of you who don't realize, Lyme disease can infect anybody, no matter how old or how young you are. No matter how healthy you are or how unhealthy you are. It is a common thing. It's actually an epidemic. It's ten times higher than HIV and AIDS. And um, you only get, unfortunately, 1% funding for research. Which is pretty sad. Because there's so many things out there that people need to know. But, here we go. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not that bad. Munch will eat it. <laughs> Done. So, if you could, please share my video, and let's try to do an awareness and spread all this information and more to help educate others. Thank you for your time. Bye. And you fall.